2,500-mile wheel is on again with 33 of the nation's fastest drivers out there to break the record against time. Suddenly there's a skid and Floyd Roberts smashes in the box once his car, setting it ablaze. Chet Miller crashes through the infield fence and turns turtle. A triple cracker. Miller is pinned beneath his car. Swanson is thrown clear and Roberts, mortally hurt, has driven his last race. As flames complete their work of destruction, the mad race goes on before the crowd of 145,000. Wilbur Shaw roars home a winner, but 115 miles an hour is too hot for comfort. Where were you in 1939? Some of you were undoubtedly in the stands to witness this same tune-up for the running of the Memorial Day Classic at the great Indianapolis Speedway Proving Grounds. Perhaps you'd gone beneath the stands for a moment to refresh yourselves with ice soda and frankfurters. Perhaps a neighbor's chance comment had caused you to turn your head. As roaring at full speed around the turns, drivers Floyd Roberts, Chet Miller, and Bob Swanson were bound together by one moment of tragic impact. Tragic impact that took the life of Floyd Roberts. The final lap, and out comes the checkered flag. And gliding into the pit is the winning car and champion driver, Maury Rose. Water now, champagne later. Remember the last Memorial Day Classic just before Pearl Harbor brought us into the Second World War? Did you see the garage on fire that took the focus of attention off the big race like a dog running across a football field at a tense moment in the big game? High racing hopes, racing cars, and high octane gasoline fuming skyward in the heat of the conflagration. Attention is brought back into focus at the moment a racing car skids and dashes into the track wall. But the race goes on, as always. At last, the checkered flag is waved, and into the winner's pit comes none other than our old friend again, Maurice Rose. Once more, the checkered flag starts the annual Memorial Day test of men and machinery. This is the 29th running of the Indianapolis Speedway race of Devil Drivers. 500 rubber and steel scorching miles over a glazed brick track with death lurking at every turn. There goes Wilbur Shaw, out to become the only man ever to win four Indianapolis races. But there are 30 other lead-footed daredevils after the $30,000 first prize. Shaw is forced out after 380 cylinder braking miles, and on they go. Into the lead roars car number 16, co-piloted by Maury Rose. He gets the payoff flag, and into the winner's pit he goes to share the fame and fortune that falls to the winner. 